Hi there and welcome to another video. In today's video, I'm going to instruct you how to set up a resistor bank for your iCharger 406 Duo or uh, actually it also applies to the 410. And I'm going to show you how to set up the, the profile to make it work with the resistor bank to be able to discharge at 40 amps. And along the way, I'm going to show you a couple of other tips and tricks that I use uh, for setting up a profile for charging batteries for stock racing. So first of all, I'm going to show you how to plug this in. So this is a resistor bank from a brand called R1. There's several different resistor banks on the market from different brands. Um, they all work about the same. They all have resistors here, cooling fans on top and you simply plug them into the eye charger on the one channel like this. And then of course your battery is going to be hooked up on the other side. I'd like to stress the importance of using a high quality charging cable. So I'm using cables from TQ Wire, which they're really good because um, they got these special connectors here, which last a long time. They don't break. They're easy to plug into your battery. These also have four and five millimeter compatibility, which means you can use all your different battery packs with the same cable. They also sell a cable which has a switch, which you can switch between 1S and 2S because you want to use balancing for both 1S and 2S while charging. All right, so let's move on on how to set up the eye charger to use the resistor bank. Okay, so to do this, we're gonna create a new profile. So we're going to manage, add profile. Um, we're gonna charge a LiPo 2S. So it's gonna be set to LiPo the cells. I mean, you can have it to auto or you can set it to the number of cells that you're gonna charge. In this case, I'm gonna charge a touring car pack. So it's gonna be a 2S pack. Capacity, you can enter this capacity to get the C rating of the charge. So I'm just going to put this to 8.1, which is the capacity of the pack I'm going to charge. And we're going to go into charge. I'm going to set this to 40 amps. Normal balance. And voltage, 4.2 per cell. Charge mode is... Standard, we're not going to change this. And current, also not going to change change this. I'm going to go into advanced. And here I'm going to put this to keep charging after done, which means once it's done charging, it's going to keep, keep balancing until um, you take the battery off the charger. So then you have the perfect end voltage, uh, even if you let it sit on the charger for a while. And then safety we're not going to do anything and we're going to go back and we're going to go into discharge to set up the resistor bank discharge current we're going to max this out at 40 amps discharge voltage uh, i personally set this 3.3 per cell and we're going to uh, go into regenerative mode. This is where it's in getting important. I'm going to go into regenerative mode to channel, which means it's going to discharge through the second channel, which we have our re resistor bank plugged into the second channel. It's already set to resistance or bulbs. Uh, voltage limit. We're going to crank this all the way up. Both of these values. And I'm going to advanced. You can set this to balance enable, which means it's going to balance as it goes. Safety, I'm not going to touch these. Go back. And we're going to save this. 
All right, let's see how this works then. So let's start a discharge. And now it's going to start from zero and it's going to start to ramp up to 40 amps eventually. You're going to start hearing the fans of the resistor bank as they're trying to cool the resistor bank down. And there you have it. It was discharging at 40 amps after being set up um, to do so. And thank you for watching my video. If you need any additional suggestions, tips and tricks for charging and discharging batteries, please refer to my Nosram charging and discharging video, which is available on my social media channels such as YouTube and Facebook.